Well, I've reached a bit of a milestone now, and that is that the construction part, at least, of the cockpit is substantially complete. And by that I mean I've finished all the panels. That includes two new ones, which is an overhead and a lower panel here. These are fakes. These are not uh, going to have any... Well, they're not fakes. I mean, they're panels, but they're not going to have any components on them or anything particularly technical. So they're not made of acrylic either. They're made of MDF on the same sort of frame, 3mm MDF, and covered with, for all you Blue Peter fans, sticky back plastic. And that looks pretty good. It's, uh, you know, it's not exactly the same kind of finish as the acrylic. Not quite as glossy, but it's glossy-ish and uh, looks fine. The other main thing, I mean, just interestingly enough, you know, when you're doing this kind of thing, you've got to plan for the fact that everything takes many times longer than you think it's going to take. <laughs> I've got to say, every step of the way, that's my experience. Um, I mean, today, for example, I've worked, you know, the whole day substantially on creating that panel, that panel, and mounting them. Now, part of the reason for that is um, I, had to, I had to modify, well, I had something to the frame to mount that overhead panel, so that took a bit of extra time. But um, but anyway, just just you know, cluing you in really about how much more labour intensive this is. The other thing I had to do really over the last week or so to get these panels mounted finally is figure out um, a sensible way or an effective way to do that. And I tried a few different ways before settling on how I've done it here. The first thing I tried was using dowels, little 6mm I don't have one here to show you, but little 6mm dowels that you see drill a hole in each component, so in the panel and then in the frame and you just shove them together, just a bit like your IKEA furniture. And that works, but it's hopelessly imprecise in being able to position the panels where you need them. Okay if you're mounting one panel, but given that here we need the panels to line up as close as we can get them, that just didn't work. I just couldn't get that uh, to work sensibly. So I've basically gone for a different variant to the same thing. What I've done, hopefully I can show you this in close-up, basically I've just got some very sharp nails and I've cut the heads off and I've mounted them into the frame so there's four, typically four or six on the longer panels, sticking out. The points are just basically sticking out. This allow and they're not very long. So this allows you to position the panel exactly where you want it, really, with very little margin for error. And then when you've got it positioned correctly, you just press it in, and those little studs effectively keep it in place. And then to hold it there, I've used a very low-tech me method, which you might be able to discern if you look here. These are cable ties, so basically I've just got holes, 4mm holes, cable ties, pulling the panels onto the frame and those studs keep them located precisely where you put them. And again, once you figure out the details of how to cut the nails, how to get them in there without buggering up the points, how long to make them, and what to do with the cable ties, and so on, once you've got that all sorted out, it's fairly straightforward to do. And it's, and it's fairly sturdy, I mean, the cable ties are not really doing anything structural. It's really um, the, the panel and those studs or those nails that are keeping the panel steady. So, so anyway, that's taken quite a long time. I've got a pretty good finish there. They're, they're close enough. They're not, you know, they're not completely flush in every junction, but they're close enough and they're nice and straight. I'm going to make a dash as well. The dash is going to just sit along the top of there, overhang a little bit, so it'll tidy up that edge. It'll give me something to hold on to. Uh, that sounds a bit weird, but uh, I know what I mean. So there we are. 
pretty much complete in construction terms. What I can't really put off any longer, and <laughs> for not much longer, is the wiring. I've got to break ground on that sooner or later. So um, I'll probably do that, not this week, I'll end up doing that maybe in the week or next weekend. And then we'll see. Again, I expect that I expect that to take quite a long time. On the premise that it's going to take longer than I estimate, and combined with the fact that I'm already estimating enormous amounts of time, it's probably going to be Christmas by the time I get this thing flying. Uh, just the sheer number of solder connections I've got to do is quite sobering. But it might turn out to be easier than I expect. Well, I can't think of anything else that I'll do for now. Okay.